Alright guys, we're gonna quartz seal again today. It's probably been a month since I've been over here. The water temperature is in the around 50 today. It's, it's rained pretty good a couple days ago. We've um not far below the dam here on Lake Russell, probably about two miles. We're just gonna give them a try. We're fishing right here. It's an outside channel swing, turns, comes off this bank over here and makes a big wide turn right here. We're fishing this little edge right here, right out on this side right here. It's a hole that's about six or eight feet deeper than anything else around here. We got four or five rods thrown in it. So come along with me today and let's see what Clark's Hill has to offer us. Morning, can I speak to uh, Mr. Greer, please? This is he. Hang on a second, man. Can I call you back in just a second? Can I call you back in just a second, sir? Oh, sure, sure. All right, thank you. All right, guys, we hooked up. This fish has got us down in a tree right here. Let's see if we get this guy out of here. I think we broke him loose that time. I think we got him loose. We move you over here on this side. <laughs> We're trying to get all this fire insurance stuff done. And on the phone with the agent, you, when you get a fish on, you got to do the important thing and make him let, let you go. All right. Let's see what we got. Tina, can you grab me the net? Unhook the little bungee cord out the top, top, top. Thank you. He's pulling on it, fella. Can you slide it down in there and get it hooked up? Slide the net out and unhook that little thing. Push them little buttons at the top. Not nothing to do with that. We're working on the net now. Hey, Mark, when you get a chance, just give me a call back. I will. Thank you, sir. All right, buddy. Take care. Bye. Got to mask both buttons at the same time. Here you go. We can work with that. That dude's pulling on it, guys. This is a fish right here. I'm surprised we got this guy up through them trees. I don't know how big he is yet, but he's putting a pull on it. Got it bent down. There he is. He's a nice man. Looks like he'd go 20 or so. He getting him a little drag. Come on up here, big dog. Come on up here and meet the people. <laughs> Come on up here and meet the YouTube folks. Bulldogging that thing, guy. Let's see if we can get him here. He said, Nope, we ain't ready. There we go. Got him in the sack. Got him in the sack. Let's engage this reel. So can we get this guy up in there? That's a nice one, guy. I mean a nice one. Oh. Y'all think about that? That sucker's gonna bump up there 30 pounds right there. It's a nice fish, guy. Guy got some shoulders on him, don't 
That's a good way to start the start the year back out after this fire. We're trying to get a jump back together. Just starting to get back to fish. Caught some bait the other day and this is really our first nice fish of 2022 right here. I'm gonna get him picked up here, unhooked, and we'll get a look at him. All right, guys, let's get a look at this guy. If he'll quit fighting, quit fighting with me. He's burping up. That's a nice fish to start the year off with. Pretty one. <laughs> I'm gonna get a weight on this one, see what it can do. I can't believe we got that thing through these trees, man. We sitting on a turn right here where the channel swings around, and it is the edge of that thing, standing tree is about 15, 20 feet tall. And we were thrown over into the actual river out there and had to reel them back across these trees. That was awesome. All right, guys, there he is. We're gonna get a look at him right here. This one hit a big old nice bluegill head. I mean, the whole head. He got it, gone with it. Let's throw him back over in here. That's a pretty fish, man. I think he's ready to go if he let me get the grips open. There he goes back down there. Yeah, that one weighed uh, 27 pounds. Woo! 27 pounds, a nice fish to start the year out with. We're gonna throw this stuff back in here, call this man back, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Tap it tap, or they're gonna pick the thing up. Looking like it's one of them cold winter bites, and they ain't gonna get it. Yeah, they all get that in the winter time. That little tap 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 tap, and then they gone. They hit it, quit it. Even when the water temperature is 50 and below, I get a lot of that. We got three or four bites out where we caught that fish while I go. It just tap tap tap, and then they. They gone, they don't pick it up. That's why I fish a little bit smaller bait, but the, the fish we caught while ago was on a really brim head, about big as my fingers like that, about that big, he was about that long. Hit it, quit it. <laughs> well guys, that's gonna do us today from Clark's Hill. Had a pretty good day. Didn't get a whole lot of bites. Caught one nice fish, but that's just the fishing part, man. It was a pretty fish and we're glad to get him. I thank you for joining him here on Whiskey Pig Fishing. If you don't mind, how about give us a like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. God bless.